Today's video tutorial is about lipendectomy in a carcinoma esophagus. We have covered in detail about different types of lipendectomy, that is 3 field versus 2 field, the rationale and justification, and it will be a complete guide about the lip node dissection in carcinoma esophagus. We have designed this tutorial in a way that the medical student preparing for NEET or PG and super specialty able to understand uh, all the details about lipendectomy in carcinoma esophagus. I hope you'll be able to add some new insight to your knowledge. This video tutorial has been divided in the following heading. Introduction, brief anatomy of the uh, esophagus, TNM staging, uh, different lip node station, uh, three field versus two field definition, what are the changing trends of lymph node status according to the AGCC uh, classification 6, 7 and 8? A regional lymph node station according to AGCC and Japanese classification. What are the rationale for lipidectomy? Arguments against and for 3 field lipidectomy and the relevant literature review. So the extent of lipidectomy for esophageal cancers is a controversial issue. Uh, the radical esophagectomy with 3 field lipidectomy it is the standard of care in Japanese center. But this procedure has long been under criticism and is not yet world standard uh, in Western centers. Uh, esophageal disease cancer is an aggressive disease. There is a local nodal and distant matrices exist at the presentation. Uh, there is a unique lymphatic anatomy that we will discuss uh, subsequently in the video and there is a possibility of regional lymph node mats uh, and uh, systemic mats at presentation. The lymphatic drainage of esophagus and bite spread, the arterial supply of vein and venous drain of esophagus are segmented. However, lymphatic drainage of esophagus is said to be longitudinal. Some current spread of tumor is also an explanation for frequent skipped lymph node matrices. Uh, the lymphatic spread in esophagus is uh, continuous from neck to abdomen and uh, it's a common channel. Another interesting concept proposed by some authors is watershed zone of lymphatic drainage of the esophagus at the level of carina. In early esophageal cancer, lymph node spread follow these anatomic pathways as, as I said. Tumor location is key to determining which node uh, likely to be involved. Lip node, lip node involvement above trichal bifurcation is preferentially to those in upper mediastinal neck and below this point will be metastatic toward the seric axis. Lip node involvement is more common with squamous cell carcinoma compared with adenocarcinoma. When tumor invades uh, into muscular mucosa, lymph node involvement in squamous cell carcinoma is 12%, approximately 10%, versus 1.3% in adenocarcinoma. So, there is early spread to lymph nodes in squamous cell carcinoma compared to adenocarcinoma. The esophagus is divided into cervical, upper thoracic, middle thoracic and low thoracic. Uh, this uh, is given in the latest edition of Shackle Ford uh, surgery book. This uh, division is according to the uh, endoscopic uh, measurement. The uh, upper esophageal sphincter is at 15 cm from the incisor. The first 5 cm, that is 15 to 20 cm is cervical esophagus. And next 5, that is 20 to 25 is thra upper thoracic. And 25 to 30, next 5 is middle thoracic. And uh, 30 to 40 is low thoracic. So 5, 5, 5 and 10 that we have to remember. The esophageal, esophageal gastric junction cancer with epicenter within proximal 2 cm of the cardia, that is severe type 1 and type 2 are staged according to the esophageal cancer and severe type 3 is staged and treated as per the uh, treatment guidelines for the gastric cancer. So the regional lymph nodes, the lymphatic network is concentrated in the submucosa. Lymphatics also present in the lamina propria that leads to the early spread of tumor in the esophagus. Lymphatic drainage of muscular mucosa, muscular propria, sorry, is limited, but lymphatic channels pierce this layer to drain into regional uh, lymphatic channels and lymph nodes. 43% of autopsy dissection demonstrate direct drainage of submucosal plexus into thoracic duct that facilitate systemic metastasis. The longitudinal nature of submucosal lymphatic, as I said, permits lymphatic metastasis orthogonal to the depth of tumor invasion. That means tumor can metastasize along the whole length of esophagus from abdomen to neck. The longitudinal nature of lymphatic drainage and automatic site of cancer lymph node to which lymphatic drain the site may not be seen. 